Homeowners, time is running out if you want to dispute how much the county thinks your house is worth. But it's not too late to save a lot of money, and that's why Steve Noviello is on your side tonight. Hi, Steve. Uh, good evening to you both. You know, it is that time of year. Uh, homeowners across North Texas getting those property uh, evaluations in the mail, letting you know exactly what your property is worth. You would think the good news is property values going up, a sign of the recovering economy. But, of course, that means more taxes. So with me this evening is Cheryl Jordan from the Dallas County Central Appraisal District. First up, thanks for being here. Second, let's be clear here. The goal here is to not get the highest values. It's to get the most accurate values, Absolutely. correct? That is correct. We're trying to get the value, the market, 100% of market value as of January 1. And of course, the market can change between then and now, but as of January 1, that's what we're trying to get. But what could it have sold for January 1? You know, it's interesting. You hear people kind of, uh, you know, start to moan a lot when they see those values going up, but really it's consumers who set the values because we're the ones buying the properties. Right. The consumer sets the market. We are just reflecting that market that they're setting. So what What's the timeline here? A, a lot of folks, everyone has gotten their notification in the mail of uh, mm -hmm. some folks thinking about protests, and we have a lot of folks talking with us online right now. Mm -hmm. What's the timeline here that people need to keep in mind? June 2nd is the deadline this year to file your protest. May 31st is the official uh, legal deadline, but that falls on a weekend, so June 2nd is the uh, first business day, and that's the deadline to file your protest on June 2nd. One of the interesting uh, things, and I, I've done this uh, you know, a few different times coming down mm -hmm. with property that I've owned, I, I really find the informal process uh, is really very easy uh, and, and kind of beneficial to get down there early and talk to somebody. Absolutely. We advocate people to come in and talk to us informally, and a lot of times it's settled at that point. Uh, they either walk away knowing why the value is what it is, and they understand it and they agree, or they will uh, give us the information that we need to, to settle the value, and we make the adjustment then. Real quick for you, is there a trick to kind of timing it right? I find that, uh, uh, you know, early in the day, early in the week, not at lunch. I find that lunch is a bad time to go. <laughs> right, right. Uh, well, next week being the last main right. week, uh, just it's going it, to be a little bit busy, uh, but you, you're right. Avoid lunchtime and uh, early morning sometime is good. Mid-morning is, is maybe even better. It's just hard to pick. Right. It really is. All right. Okay. And if you've got a bunch of different questions, you can sit here and ask Cheryl. Um, we're actually answering your questions this evening on Facebook. A lot of great questions coming from our viewers tonight, things about uh, deadlines, uh, these paid services that you hear about that say they can protest for you. And really the key here, how does the county uh, get uh, an idea of what you your home is worth if no one ever comes and knocks on your door. The answer is right now on our Facebook fan page. We invite you to log on and sound off, and Cheryl and I will both be here to answer what we can. Steve, Heather? Great information. All Great right. Steve, nice job.